Now to a News 8 exclusive, Vice President Mike Pence defending President Trump's decision to invite Russian President Vladimir Putin to the White House. Yeah, the Vice President sat down with News 8's White House correspondent Mark Meredith for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. He joins us now from Washington with more. Hey, Mark. We had about five to six minutes to sit down with the vice president, set to cover a number of different topics, but we wanted to start with one that has been top of mind for so many people here in Washington, as well as around the world. What happened in Helsinki and what's next with the president's relationship with Vladimir Putin? Mr. Vice President, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, Vice President Mike Pence told me President Trump's decision to invite Russian President Vladimir Putin to a second summit in Washington is about promoting peace. President Trump is absolutely determined to see if we could improve our relationship with Russia. The vice president says the world's two biggest nuclear powers need to be talking to each other, while many in Congress say the president has been too soft on Putin and Russia. But the vice president disagrees. We'll continue to make it very clear uh, that, uh, that we won't tolerate a malign influence. Uh, by Russia. This weekend, the vice president is traveling to Tennessee and Georgia, two states where farmers and manufacturers are already losing money and jobs because of the president's trade battles with China and our allies in Europe, Canada, and Mexico. Is the White House going to be able to stay on this path, or are you guys looking to change course? Uh, we have every confidence that in the days ahead that, that we'll be able to make real progress, whether it be in the North American Free Trade Agreement that's made significant progress in recent months. Or, uh, or renegotiating our trade relationship with the EU. You know, my, our message to people all across the country is, is that be confident. On America's immigration battles, the vice president says it's up to Congress to act, but he hints the president intends to put pressure on lawmakers this fall. There'll be another round of spending bills, and I can assure you that the president's going to continue to fight. I asked the vice president how often he gets to make it back home to Indiana. He says not as often as he'd like, but he's still going to be going out there quite a bit because of the midterm elections. He's going to be campaigning throughout the country next week as well. Reporting in Washington, Mark Meredith, Wish TV, News 8.